China successfully launched its Shenzhou-12 manned spacecraft on Thursday morning, by sending three astronauts into low Earth orbit and then into the core module of the space station. It's a huge step forward for the country in its effort to build its very own space station by 2022. One question to ask is, will it replace the existing International Space Station known as the ISS? Well, the latter has been in orbit for over 20 years. It's a multinational project that has contributed greatly to our scientific understanding of space. But it may have to retire after 2024. If true, China's space station could be the only one in orbit for a sustained period of time. So it's very likely to play an increasing central role in future science-related uh, research. Another question is, what would it be like the ISS and receive international astronauts? Well, back in May 2018, China, together with the United Nations Agency for Outer Space Affairs, invited all UN members to conduct scientific experience, experiments on the new space station, especially developing countries. So in this sense, the new space station will be shared by many more countries acting as an outpost. Some say this is because China was once excluded from the ISS, so it fully understands the needs and desires of other countries. So within the year, 42 proposals were put forward by 27 countries for the first group of tests. Nine were chosen and they are being prepared once the station is put into use around 2022. Training exchanges between astronauts from the European Space Agency and China National Space Administration have already begun. Russia that plans to cooperate with China in this field and on lunar basis as well. When faced with a vast and mysterious universe and huge expenses and risks that come with the exploring space, no one can work alone. Coming next, two of the remaining eight assembly missions for China's space station will carry the lab modules to the space station. And there will also be three more robotic resupply flights, not to mention three more crewed missions during the outpost phase of construction. So there is a lot to look forward to in terms of performance and other contributions to the joint exploration of space by all human beings. Zheng Yibing, CGTN, Beijing.